Yes, people at FJTV. <clears throat> so I'm going to quickly run through my day and then I've got my notes to my left and then we'll go from there. And instantly, as soon as I start recording, my ear pops. That's always good. So for those that follow me on my Instagram, obviously, you know, did a training session, went to the nature reserve. Sometimes I record videos, but my phone battery was going down. I thought, you know what, let me just go like I normally do. Go off into nature. There's a little spot I like to meditate in. This, like I said, it's like a tree. Imagine my hand is the tree coming out of the earth and I stand in essentially the palm hand. I've only got one hand free. Doing the breath work, literally holding onto the branches of the tree as well. Today, like I have done in the past, taking my shoes and socks off, literally standing barefoot in this collection of branches in this tree, doing the breath work, straight away feeling like cracking my back, obviously my most recent video the kundalini one feel free to go check that out and i've got a couple of points i'm going to touch on but i know i'm a minute in let me keep it going so feeling like cracking my back feeling like oh, i'm a bit tight from the gym like i need to stretch whatnot blah 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 blah. something i've said from you know since the inception of this youtube channel understand okay i need to incorporate the yoga the meditation the breath work which i was doing in that time period like i said continuing on this journey called cool. You know, hence fitness journeys, FJTV, fitness journeys, TV, yeah. While I was there, again, phone was dying, but I was thinking, I'm not really bothered about that. I'm absorbing all this energy, I'm getting all the downloads, and then all the stuff I've thought about in the past, I'm like, oh, fuck, I need to say that on the video. Some of the stuff I have touched on, other things is like I get better ways of articulating it in my mind and then saying it on the channel, on these videos. And again, it just got to the point where some of you might have seen, I uploaded the short before doing this, well, a couple of hours ago. I'm gonna leave a link to it as well. Literally, I'm doing the breath work, so I'm doing that yoga pose. And as I stand up, I can feel my lungs weren't completely filled, so I kind of lean forward, take a big inhale, stretch upwards. And you can literally hear, I didn't realize, because you can hear the stream in the background. And then I didn't realize how loud it sounds when I exhale. And obviously the phone's a few feet away from me, a couple of meters, whatever. And then again, I'm just absorbing the sunlight. And that's a quick YouTube short because, like I said, there's power in the mangroves, there's power in the trees. I'm not going to get on that because I don't want to get off topic. It's like I said, I've got a few notes next to me that I want to get through. But again, like I said, all the downloads, everything I've thought for years comes flooding back. All the DMT like trippy thoughts, all the stuff, like I say, from my entire life from knee high, my earliest memories, understanding that all the negative is just a, a way of building me up and it's up to me to just transmute that into positive and understanding it's part of the journey anyway, bare minimum. And like I'm saying, and I said it in recent videos, some of them are on my Patreon because they're not on the, because every now and then I do my channel purge and I'm doing another one, just FYI. <clears throat> and something I've said and I've touched on here and there, but I'm going to get deep on in this video. Yeah, Same way I keep looking at my notes because I want to keep on track. Literally, as I'm stood in that collection of branches in the trees, and as I've said, quick little tangent, but in recent times as well, like I'm talking about, you know, I'm seeing a lot of people talk about manifestation, which is me seeing the divine mirror and seeing the matrix, what it is, which is like I said, it's just holding up a mirror and your thoughts create your reality. So when I'm more thinking, I'm literally manifesting every single day, the life I want to be truly living every single day, and not just on an ego level, not just as Josh in this avatar that's not even real, she's part of this illusion, part of this illusion as well. When I go deep in here and really into my heart space, what really resonates from the highest possible infinite source of consciousness, an infinite, infinitely loving, blissful state down onto the human level, yeah? So on top of that, again, like I said, with the manifestation and the mantras and speaking things into existence, and then like I said, law of attraction, keyword action, taking action, walking towards it, yeah. It's all well and good, like I said, I do the meditation as well, literally like today, but I'd already, shit man, hey, I've done a PT session, then I did my own gym session. I'll happily admit after doing a 48 hour caffeine detox, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna reintroduce the caffeine again for the day. Because I want to PT this person and I want to have that right energy because I was not tired from the morning, but I thought I don't want to be, you know, lethargic or whatnot. 
And then I was thinking, yeah, my own gym session, brrr, did my training call, cool. obviously, like I said, going to nature, sweet, yeah, so I'm meditating now. Again, speaking things into existence, holding onto the tree, and like I said, my bare foot touching the sort of mossy area on that bottom of where my feet were, grounding into it, absorbing the sunlight coming through, letting it hit my eyes, like a little bit of sun gazing here and there, like I said, alongside the breath work, getting that natural DMT releasing anyway, as again, my heart's beating anyway, so my life force through my blood, pumping around my system. And then as I've said, and the point I'm gonna get onto and get deep with, like I said, with the semen retention, and my video, my most recent one, the Kundalini one, like I said, sending that energy to your higher centers and awakening your consciousness to the ultimate knowledge that you've got direct connection to, that no one can come upon here on a talking head and saying, what you need to do, what ma 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 nah, bruv. Yeah, I'm all for that. Yeah, do what you've got to be doing. The same way I'm here with, yeah, notes to relay the same sort of information. But you have that power within, like I keep fucking saying, yeah. But again, because I know I'm six minutes in. <clears throat> I apologise, because my ears popped and there's an echo in the room. But fuck it, I'm going to keep it going anyway. <clears throat> As I'm there, saying some of the mantras. Purposely saying a mantra I was saying literally this time last year. And lo and behold... It's part of my reality. And it didn't take 12 months to happen. Shit, man, it didn't really necessarily take longer than a few weeks to start to manifest. But I still had some shit to go through. I still had some things that I had to get done here and there. Call them spiritual errands, if you like. There's a little, there you go. I'll hot potato that. I'll put that into the ether. I guarantee I'll see that in some which way or another. I'll hear someone say, oh, spiritual errands. That'll be a new phrase. You watch, bro. yeah. You heard it here first. But anyway... Because I'm now seven minutes in and I've not even got deep on what I'm talking about. I'm literally there meditating in the tree and I've been doing this for well over a year now. And I've understood and I've realised, of course with the similar attention, of course in this physical avatar, you never stop growing, literally like a tree with my feet planted on it. The same way its roots are deep within the earth and it's absorbing the nutrients through the earth. And don't let it go over your head with the mycelium and that and do your own research and obviously in the essence of the mirror effect of cold showers, the freezing cold rainstorms coming down onto the tree. Does it ever fall? Does it ever crumble? Does it ever cower away? No. Stands there big, tall and strong. Constantly, I let my shadow do the work for me. Constantly growing and ever expanding. Reaching up towards the heavens, yeah? Understand what I'm saying when I say that, yeah, bro. And I'm not mincing my words. Like I'm saying, bro, with the semen retention. Specifically for the man. Like I said, shout out the girl, bro. They got the exact same power within, bro, yeah. But as a man, speaking to my fellow brothers, bro, yeah. Like I said, I wish I, if I had this knowledge at 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17... Lo and behold, bro, like I'm not even joking, bro. I'll probably be as tall as, what's his name? Alexander Volkov in the UFC. Six foot blood clout seven. And I'm not even joking when I say that, bro. And that's the story for another day, yeah? But I know what I know. Same way, bro, I make the joke. My dad's 5'11". I'm 5'10". My mum is 4'11", bro. I shouldn't have been this tall anyway, bro, yeah? But that's the story for another day, yeah? <clears throat> like I'm saying, continually growing. And again... You choose all of this, bruv. Like I say, you make the rules. And everything I'm saying, I know you already know this, so let me keep it going, bruv, because that's one of my notes, and I've got about eight different things to talk about. So quickly, let me keep it moving. Something I didn't really touch on in the Kundalini video, there's a reason why in every specific culture, in every human race, again, it's just mouth noises. We just exist at different parts of the map, in different climates, with different cultures, to get the same wisdom and knowledge anyway. There's a reason why all different cultures have different ways of relaying the same information whether it's from a religious point of view or a spiritual point of view and don't let it go over your head again like i said with kundalini sending the energy up why does every different culture have different ways of dancing i'll pause for a reason there bro because i know you know that of course which is why of course it's a high vibrational thing and of course your boy was doing all the fucking break dancing as a you anyway that's why like i said i can do shit like that and it's not even a flex buff because I know it's just, I can just manipulate this physical avatar. Again, people doing the fucking robot thing, bro, yeah. Peter Crouch ain't got nothing on me, another geezer that's six foot seven, yeah. Anyway, I know not everyone's going to catch some of the stuff I drop, but... Because I'm ten minutes in, so let me keep it going. Quickly touching on something again. 
<clears throat> I always use the quote from Yoda in obviously Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back specifically, when he's saying, do or do not, there is no try, yeah? Another point, because again, when I'm there meditating in nature and I'm looking around and I feel the energy and I feel the positivity and I'm thinking, there's a specific scene in The Empire Strikes Back when he's talking to Luke and he's giving him the information and saying about being a Jedi. And quickly I'll say what's the first part of my notes and then I get to the next bit. In the next film, in The Return of the Jedi, when Yoda dies, what happens? He doesn't just, yeah, and just, yeah, I'm dead. Phases out of existence, yeah, literally just disappears before your very eyes. Now again, I'll quickly make the points I need to make and then we'll dial it back. We're on a specific timeline, bruv. No matter what you believe, no matter what you think. Ultimately, like I said, you make the rules for one thing. You'll see however you, you will see the world however you're projecting it outwardly to be. There are certain laws, there's certain truth, of course. That is why what I'm saying will resonate. Because you already know this deep within anyway, yeah? But we are on a specific trajectory. Like we're on a train track, bruv, yeah? And we can all sort of peer ahead. That's cool, bruv. You can go forward to the car station and we can go back there, yeah? We can party in this one. We can go, bruv, you get what I'm saying? But we're still heading. As much as time is an illusion, I get that, yeah? But we still perceive the passing. There's some going up, there's some going down. There's some comes up, there's some goes down, yeah? As I said, bruv, if I shave my beard off, bruv, every single day I make a video, or every other day, whatever, it's going to come back growing, yeah? So something's happening, whether we want to say time or otherwise. Again, like I'm saying, another point that you already know, I'm speaking the English language, a bastardised language of, because obviously I was programmed with it, but of course I was programmed with it, because of course I was born here, because I obviously would have chosen it in some realm. But in this country, or all the way over there in America, we speak this language that has been put onto us to purposely have us speaking in circles, speaking in tangents, saying stuff that doesn't even make sense when you really break it down. As I say, 12-12, because if I use the phrase, anything you do, do. Why am I saying do, do in a sentence, bro? You get what I'm saying, bro? I understand that's kind of humorous because I purposely cut and crack jokes here and there with some of the serious stuff I say because I understand how that shit works, yeah? <clears throat> Let me finish my point about Yoda, about phasing out of existence. A time will come, bruv, like I'm saying, about raising your vibration and getting all this spiritual knowledge and wisdom. Because right here, right now, as I'm stood in this house on my own, as Josh in this physical avatar that's 27 years old, in human years, yeah? As much as, like I just said, time is an illusion. But keeping it going, a time will come when I'm sure plenty of us will just, like, like I said, like Yoda, phase out of existence when we need to. When we really truly are on that fucking all my days, blood. I get it, yeah. Like I said, you don't need to be some monk and meditating in the mountains of Tibet or whatever example, yeah. Again, that's not me throwing shade of otherwise. That's just saying you're here watching this through this technology because you're here to live the life you're living right here, right now. And all the shit you've been through, all the trials and tribulations, all the bullshit, all the nonsense, bro, yeah. We've all been through a whole manner of different things, some worse than others, and it ain't a competition, bro, yeah, because you're here to live your life. And again, you can have, I was going to make my own joke there, one eye on the future, but again, you can literally see it because you just go deep in here and you can create whatever the fuck you want. So you create that future, but we are all here together to experience a specific future together. I'm not going to get too deep, but let me keep it going. My other point about Yoda, like I said, do or do not, there is no try. I'm going to leave a link to the clip where he's talking to Luke and he's saying, feel the force around you. And you can see, I didn't even intend to do it, bruv. The same way certain cultures are doing all the Tai Chi stuff, like I said, moving the energy because it's technically physical in the sense of we can't see it. But of course it exists because this doesn't even exist. You get me? Cool. What was the other thing I was going to say about Yoda? Oh yeah, the quotes literally did it line underneath. When he says to Luke, luminous beings are we, not this crude matter, yeah? But again, moving that to one side, because that gets me to my next point. But I've got to make another one first. <sighs> like I'm saying, but all this has come flooding to me, yeah? like um, the speed of light, do you know what I mean? When I'm stood in that collection of branches and meditating, it's all stuff I've thought about, all the things I've got going on, all the stuff I've already said in a video, some of the ones, like I said, are on Patreon, some are still on the channel. Some of them 
They might be on Patreon, but the shorts from said video are still on the channel. Because I keep, like I said, I'm never going to fucking stop, bruv, yeah? We're going to keep this thing going no matter what, bruv, yeah? Because YouTube already pays me. Because I already have a thousand subscribers, which is apparently one of the things you need before they pay you. I apologize if my voice sounds a bit weird in this one. Like I said, I'm trying not to shout because I can hear the echo and my ears still popped. But it was doing a shit ton of the breath work. That's quickly just to finish the point. After doing that from finish the park, went quickly, psh, put a bit of fuel in the tank. I said to myself, mm, I'm going to put about £30 in there. Filling up, filling up, filling up. Gets to £29.93p. I was like, mm, one more squirt. <laughs> £30 on the dot. I was like, I'm so fucking tapped in today. You can't even tell me nothing, bruv. Quickly. Came home, I was like, you know what, let me stay fasted. That could be my next point, that I know he's next to me. Had a banana to keep myself going. I thought, yeah, cold shower, keep doing the stretching and the breath work. Then we make a YouTube video. But I did that quick one for the YouTube short, like I said, of the video. I took on myself of doing a bit of the breath work and just stood in the branches. And then I did a quick hadouken, like I'm doing Tai Chi. Because again, I kind of do it to be funny, but it's literally how I feel sometimes, especially when I'm... And I thought, oh, and I'm like, oh shit, yeah, none of this is real. My ears started to pop then again. It's what happens when we injure the breath work because you're forever expanding outwardsly. Like I said, literally growing like a tree, bro. Yeah, 27, bro. Hey, man, bring out like the fucking all them Arnie films, whether it's Terminator or otherwise, bro. Bring out the clones of Josh for more different. Like I'm looking back at that scene from Avatar, and I'm gonna get to that. Yeah. Let any of them come through that door, bruv. Yeah, I'll... Bruv, I'll mash up every single one because, of course, I'm always better. And like I said again, with the seam of attention, you think this is my final form? Yeah? Same way, bruv. I'm so happy and grateful. I had all the sexual experiences I had with all the beautiful girls. Hey, man, I did my charity work here and there. But hey, specifically with all the beautiful girls, which is the exact reason why I could say... I'm more than happy to be celibate for as long as it takes for me to tick certain boxes in my mind. Tick certain boxes in my mind, yeah? Oh, I said that for a reason, didn't I? That was it. Because all those girls, like I said, no matter what vision they have in their mind, because we're all experiencing things from a different perspective. And like I said, bruv, hey, I said this to one of my boys the other day because they were going through something. I said, no matter what, bro, because he broke up with his missus. I was like, she can never really talk down on your name. When it really comes down to it, he's like, yeah, but I did, I did. I'm big man. I'm like, hear what I'm saying to you. I'm being crude on purpose, bro, yeah? There's a reason why you was together for years. But I'm going to leave that for us today. Maybe it's a little later in the video because I've got some other things. Like I said, high vibration. I'm still a human, I'm still a red-blooded red -blooded masculine man, yeah. Same way when I'm in that cold shower. Literally today, bro, because like I said, I'm staying on that vibration. I'm like, let's just keep fucking going with this energy. And again, doing the breath work in the shower to the point where that freezing cold water's hitting my head and I can't even feel it, bro. It literally just feels like that. But there's no temperature, because I'm literally... I'm trying to not do that so no snot flies out, but you get what I'm saying, yeah. Same, like I said, obviously your ears are going to pop. Research the mucusless diet. I know I'm 80 minutes in, yeah, I'm gonna keep it going regardless, bro. yeah. Like I said, quickly, for the Star Wars point, again, Luke in the next film, Return of the Jedi, obviously the one Yoda dies, but when he goes to save his father and all of that, obviously it's the hero's journey, but again, there's a little point as well, when the Emperor is saying, oh yeah, use your hatred, blah, 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 blah. I'll leave a link to it, because I want people to see exactly what I'm talking about. But Luke extinguishes his lightsaber, so essentially sheaths his katana, yeah? He says, no, your highness, you are wrong. I will never turn to the dark side, for I am a Jedi, like my father before me. This is a little thing that popped in my head before, in that same tree spot meditating. And I was thinking all these things, and I'm thinking about, yeah, Highlander, which is almost like a... The same way Conor McGregor, the Notorious, yeah? Almost like it's a separate identity of yourself that you can literally visualise and like you've got hammer and chisel, keep chipping away at it, yeah? And I literally clicked in my mind again, I was like, yeah, 
I'm a Highlander, like my father before me, and I will never choose the dark side. Even though, again, I'm not going to mince words because, again, with this English blood clot language, like I said, the yin and the yang, the positive, the negative, it's all duality, yeah, we balance it all, yeah, we balance the scales. So it doesn't mean that this is good, this is bad, whatever, whatever, but you get what I'm saying. Let me keep it going, because I've still got a couple of things I want to touch on. Yeah, we'll get to the we'll get to the tantra. So again, my video cut off with the Kundali one, and I got to twenty seven minutes. So maybe I've got around seven minutes before this one. So let's keep it going. Like I said, the highest point of the seam of attention, the best conclusion, not even the best conclusion, the ultimate conclusion you awaken to. Yeah. Like I said, it's the same knowledge your ancestors from ancient times knew that you knew in a fucking past life, bruv, yeah? That kings coveted, whatever, 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 yeah? You don't ever need to relapse, ejaculate, bust a nut ever again. If you don't want to, you can if you want, because you make the rules, like I've already said, like I said in recent videos, bruv, yeah? The same way I'm saying in the Divine Mirror, same way I'm saying in the Monday, manifestation, meditation, motivation, yeah? All these videos, again, this isn't me just bigging up my own shit. This is me saying, oh, Josh, I'm, yeah, Josh, I'm fitness, Joe's a brr. Nah, bro, this is uh, this immortal soul animating this vessel, talking to you, saying what you already know. Yeah, that's why it resonates. That's why you're still here. And the same way, like I said, from a different point in space and time, watching this through these technologies. And like I said, we're all part of the same consciousness anyway on the deepest level, like a hand warping in here. This is me over here, this is you over there, this is your bridging, this is one of my friends, and we're all just, you get me, yeah? <clears throat> Again, like I said, the highest vibration, understanding, because like I said, bro, I keep one eye on the nonsense in the air, in the little fucking whatever. Like I said, I, I, know, I know the reason why my YouTube channel has got this many subscribers and this many views. Because, uh, let, me not, let me not finish that point, I'll finish that point in a minute. Like I said, I see when the people are like, yeah, simple retention, nah, it's all good, bro, because, yeah, it's no fapping, but basically, um, when I'm getting all these girls and that, basically, bro, uh, yeah, I still want busting up, bro. <laughs> yeah? Talking out their ass, because, again, it's spiritual bypassing, and that's okay, because that's not their cross to bear. Clearly, bro, it's up to me to, A, say this, and B, enact it in the matrix, in this simulation, as an immortal soul, Currently in this physical avatar you see before you, yeah. like I said, bro, of course it's fitness Jones because of course I would have to bridge the gap between the physical and the spiritual in my own brain, going through all the crazy life journey it's been so far up until this very moment right here, right now, as I'm recording this video that technically doesn't even exist on the internet yet, technically it doesn't even exist on my YouTube yet because I've not finished recording. However, let me keep it going again with the similar attention. When you do start to manifest all these beautiful beings, all these beautiful gal, or whatever you're into, but specifically for the man them, and you know what I'm saying, yeah, because obviously I'm not a dickhead. I mean, how this shit works, yeah, so they can never try and... Oh, Josh said... Josh said, raise, blah, blah, blah. Josh said, raise your vibration. Go, Jim, don't be a pussy hole, yeah, and be a nice person. Ta-da! They can never, yeah. But again, you're going to manifest all these beautiful women. Do what you want to be doing as well. But understand again, you can have the high vibrational sexual experiences and you don't even have to drain yourself of the energy. And the same way you can if you want, but you might be like, you know what, I've got a month, whatever, whatever. Let me bust it up real quick. There we go, boys, yeah. I've, I've completed seam of retention then essentially, bro, yeah, because you can stop the wet dreams as well, because when people are like, oh, but wet dreams... Okay, well, A, what, what is your physical vessel rubbing against when you're naked and unconscious? B, can you lucid dream or astral travel yet? Yeah. Uh, no, then you've got some awakening to do. Me too, I include myself in that, yeah. Because any time I feel lucid in a dream, I'm like, oh, I'm dreaming, and then I wake up, yeah. So I get it. Raise your kundalini up through your spinal cord like a serpent. Imagine a big giant anaconda wrapping around a tree like I was talking about at the beginning of the video. To awaken your higher centres. And again, like I said with the wet dreams, understand those different entities existing in different layers of this simulation. Imagine like an onion, like the film Shrek. Ogres have layers. This simulation has layers, yeah? Oh, and quick little thing as well. Best believe, bro, anything I'm saying, 
fucking hear stuff. Sometimes this house makes weird noises, but that can be another point that I'm going to make in two seconds. Anything I'm saying, bruv, this is all just speaking from the heart, bruv. The, the closest psychedelics I've done is smoking a bit of weed, bruv. And the last spliff I had was, I want to say June. And since that I purposely said, bruv, we ain't got time for that shit because I'm still in a house that doesn't belong to me here, yeah, which I'm so happy and grateful for, of course. I say that on a daily basis. But, you know what I mean, bruv? The next one I have, going to be a victory spliff. No psychedelics. No DMT, magic mushrooms, LSD, none of that, bruv. So anything I'm saying, bruv, like I said, it comes from whatever I'm tapping into, clearly, you get me? And again, the only reason I say that is to say you can tap into this exact same wisdom. That's not me saying this, that, or the other, because like I said to one of my fellow brothers out there, when the time comes, I'll happily do the shrooms, I'll happily do a hero's dose, I'll happily do the DMT, because give me this information so I can best operate in this simulation. Yeah, but in the meantime, I'll continually releasing the natural DMT within my lungs and in my mind. <clears throat> Wonder if you can hear that on the video. It's probably the pipe work, but anyway, last little bit. Yeah, I'm going to leave two meditation tracks in the description. I've linked them before, but for the purpose of this video, I'll link them again. A big point for these videos, sorry, a big point for those meditation tracks is they 